So if you take a look at this document, you know, it's it's it could do, you know, it could, it, we could do a little bit more with this. You know, we're trying to excite people into majoring in media studies. So it, we, we, we could do better. We could do better. And this is actually where we can utilize some of, more of these style options. Let's say, for example, we highlight that first option, majoring in media studies. Well, that's sort of the grandiose uh, title of it all. And if we kind of take a look at those styles, we have something called title. As soon as we mouse over it or just click on it, we apply that style to this. And so it's pretty nice. You see now, oh, it's standing out a little bit more. Nice, nice. Uh, before we, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll play around well with this a little bit later. Now, say prerequisites. Well, prerequisites, if I click on it, that's not really a, a title. That's more of what we call a heading. It's sort of a heading, as you can see. Uh, it's sort of just a, a way for me to now declare, oh, hey, this is one of those things that it, it's a core concept. It's a core uh, discussion piece. You know, before you can major, you have to have prerequisites. So we get to see that. And as you can see, we want to do that again with core courses. Now, before I click on heading one again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and you see I have also electives. Now, what I'm going to do over here on my handy dandy keyboard right here is I'm going to hold down my control key, hold down my control key, and then I'm going to click on electives. Notice how all of a sudden not only is core courses highlighted, but elective is as well. And I can let go. I can scroll down here. I'm going to hold the control key again and go ahead and click on research methods. That got highlighted. So is elective. So is core concepts. I keep on going. I got my senior project. Now all four of those headings are highlighted. And if I select heading one, notice what happens. They all become highlighted. It's pretty neat. One of the things I can also do with this is now you notice every time I kind of mouse over one of these, I get a little triangle. That actually lets me collapse these options. So I can come to every single one of these now. And you know, if I don't want to see any particular section, all right, I now have sort of this drop down menu that I would see on a web page. Now I said, maybe you're like me and you're like, hey, you know what? That blue doesn't really do it for me. I'm more of a green guy, but you know what? That's just me. Well, what I can do is I can actually head over to my design section. And we have a few different things that we can do here. One is we have this idea of playing with themes, but I'll actually want to look at these formats. I can actually choose using the same theme, using the same theme, but just changing how everything looks. I can say, for example, select this one. I like this one right here majoring in media studies. Uh, I got that center. Now it's a little big for me, so I'm just going to highlight it because I know how to highlight. Go to my home tab and just shrink down that text just once. And so look at that. Now, all right, all right. Now we're now we're starting to play around a little bit more. I, you know, if I don't like that one, I can change the colors, for example. I have that option to change my colors and I'll go with uh, say green. Ooh, look at that. Green now. Media studies green. I, I like it. It kind of flows a little better. And we can continue to do this with things like our fonts, our paragraph spacings, our effects. And we can even set this as our default. If I always want it to look like this when I work with my styles, I can. Or I can switch it up and kind of, as you can see, pick different ways to have it look through all of them.